Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. It's another rainy day here in Northern California. So today I'm gonna make some corned beef vegetable soup in the crock pot. So let's get crocking. So I have a corned beef brisket I'm using for this. They come in a package like this, they're brined. And um, I cut this up into stew meat sized pieces last night and trimmed the excess fat off of it. This one is 3.75 pounds and it was $2.99 a pound. So it was $11.21 for this. So um, what I've done here is <clears throat> I browned it up and that kind of gives it a little more flavor and uh, also cooks some of the excess fat out of it. But you don't have to do that. In fact, usually I don't. I usually just dump it in, but I had to do this in two batches because it wouldn't all fit. So uh, I've already done one batch and it's already in there. So we'll get the rest of this meat in there. And this meat is very salty. So I'm not adding any uh, broth to that. I'm just using plain water. I, I cooked this last year and I actually made a video of it. And I put a couple of chicken bouillon cubes in there. And it came out too salty, so I had to end up diluting it down and add more water to it at the end. And it was fine once I did that, but you know, it, there's enough salt in that meat that you don't really need any broth. Okay, so we got our meat. Now we, this is about five or six uh, potatoes, red potatoes, that I cut up and left the skin on. And um, this is carrots. This is a two pound bag, so um, I'll put, I don't know, probably most of this bag. I'll call that, I don't know, pound and a half of carrots, I guess. And then uh, it's about three stalks of celery and one onion that I cut up. Get all that in there. And so, also this comes with one of these seasoning packets. And I don't like those very much, so I'm not gonna use that. All right, so that's pretty your pretty basic uh, corned beef and I also have cabbage here. Um, I'll put that in probably the last hour of cooking because it kind of gets all mushy if you put it in at the beginning. Um, what I'm gonna do different here is I have a bag of green beans. This is a 12 ounce bag. I'm gonna dump those in. And um, I also have this bag of Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna put some of those in there as well. They'll all fit. They may not all fit, huh? Okay. I think I can squeeze them in. And I think I'm gonna have to add some more water to that. So what I'm gonna do is uh, fill this up with water, you know, up to the to the edge, and then I'll get the lid on there. And I'm gonna cook this on high, so. I'm thinking it'll probably take five or six hours, so, um, and probably roughly twice that on low. So uh, let me uh, add more water to that and I'll get it going. Boy, this is gonna be a tight squeeze. I hope the lid will go on there. I don't know if I'll be able to fit cabbage. Cabbage, I might have to cook that separate. <laughs> Perfect, got the lid on. All right, we will be back later on. Okay, it's been about six hours and it's still raining outside. Let's see how the soup looks here. It looks good to me. There's definitely no room for cabbage. <laughs> like I said, if I was gonna put cabbage in it, it I would have put it in there the last hour before it was done but there's no room so I'm just gonna do without the cabbage the Brussels sprouts will have to serve so let me grab a bowl and we'll try it out I let this cool down a little bit so let's try it out looks like the meat is pretty tender these briskets can be pretty tough they take a while to get this tender like I said that was about six hours on high so uh, let's get a little bit of this meat and see how it is Oh yeah, that's really good. <clears throat> a little bit of sweetness in the broth from the vegetables. And uh, I'm glad I didn't add anything salty to this because it's 
about right. There's so much salt in that meat, you really don't need to add much salt to it. You know, you can always add a little bit at the table if you need more, but I filled that pot so full, if I would have made it too salty like yet last year, I'd be out of luck. So this came out really good. A little bit different than the traditional corned beef and cabbage, but you know, it's pretty good. Hope you guys will give that a try sometime. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.